These are the Salmon Tactile Switches from Kinetic Labs. I just got these in the other day and decided to document trying to switch for the first time since I've never done it before. Like I said before, these are tactile switches, and these are the first tactile switches I've ever used actually, since I've been constantly hoarding linears since I got into the hobby, I figured it was time to venture out. Now, I want to go a little into how these switches are designed because I find it pretty interesting. So, these switches have a very long stem, which I notice gives it a pretty deeper sound than most other switches I've tested. It uses a PC polymer blend for the housings and a PCM stem. They also have a 3.5mm total travel with a 2mm actuation. One thing I want to point out right off the bat is how visually pleasing these switches are. I honestly love the pink palette they use and Kinetic Labs never disappoints with their design and colorways. So the site did say they have a tiny amount of factory lube, but I still went ahead and added some lube of my own. I used the Carbon GS1 switch lube that was on Kinetic Labs site as well. So like most people, lubing is honestly my least favorite part and it took me three days to do it since I just don't have any patience. I mean, <laughs> look at the amount of pieces here. I had some footage of the lubing process, but the lighting was a little messed up, so I scrapped it. Uh, here's a quick sound test of the switches, unlubed, then lubed. So, as you can see, it makes a bit of a difference and takes away some of that scratchy sound that was in the stock version. The next step was to take off the very nice Hippo keycaps, also from Kinetic Labs, not a sponsor, and then remove the Hippo switches that I had in, which, you know, maybe I'll do a review of those soon. Uh, after some time pulling those apart, I figured out that I had snapping power, so let's try that out here. Seamless transition. These pink switches have such a nice look with the black case of the Keychron Q1, and in my opinion, these are definitely the most visually appealing of all the Kinetic Lab switches so far. Here's one more look at them. Uh, I think these switches sound pretty good, honestly. I don't think Tactile's my cup of tea just yet. I still want to try other Tactile's, like the Holy Pandas. Uh, and these have, you know, a much deeper sound profile to them, like I mentioned before. Uh, stick around to the end to hear the typing test. And here's the keyboard with the keycaps put on. Um, I give these switches a decent 7 out of 10. Like I said, I don't think they are my cup of tea, but I can't deny the visually appealing look and that deep sound profile. And now that I'm editing this after the fact, uh, they've definitely grown on me a bit. I'm actually getting a Kill Matte sound dampener for my keyboard today, so you know maybe I'll do an update and see if it sounds any better. I hope you enjoyed this video and the review, very late review, of the Salmon Tactile Switches. Let me know what switches I should review next. I'm always looking for more to try. Thanks for watching, and here's the sound test.